Yesterday, a big story broke, and that was that Jose Mourinho and Roma were parting company. Now, so much got to get on the timeline in terms of conversation coming, conversations coming through from our different fans. And in this video, I break down what I think this means for Chelsea Football Club and how it benefits us. Is he the right man to walk in right now and just change everything? Or do we just not need a man like that, but we can get something out of him? That and much more in this video. Chelsea fans, thank you so much for tuning in once again and getting to catch another video on this channel. Again, I ask you, please like this video because then it will be able to go around as much as possible and probably fetch us the subscriptions that we need. Have you subscribed yet? Please subscribe and turn on that notification button if you haven't at all. Today, it's all about Jose Mourinho that we get to have these conversations and we'll be starting off with this tweet, the big announcement, one that was broken by Fabrizio Romano. And here we go. Breaking Jose Mourinho and S. Roma part ways with immediate effect. It is over. What a story. What a headline that, of course, uh, Jose Mourinho managed to come through with that. Now, that in itself got to spark so many conversations on the timeline. Oh, the special one has been sacked again. Oh, the sacked one and all of those kinds of things. And I felt that this was, in as much as, of course, he's not rubbed so many people the right way, Jose Mourinho is so many things but a failure at clubs and all of those things and that is what I believe. Matter of fact, I have always been a Jose Mourinho fan even when we had to choose between him and Pep Guardiola. For me, he was the guy. Maybe because I had the Chelsea bias and all of those kinds of things but I always felt that he introduced me to a different kind of football and uh, a football that was efficient, a football that was all about the result first and then the entertainment later. And uh, he's shown that he can also play some entertaining football, by the way. But at the end of the day, he made even defense very entertaining for me. I loved to watch a Jose Mourinho masterclass just avoiding defeat, but not just that, also going out for the victory. So when I started hearing that many people felt he had been sacked because of poor performances and all of that, especially at Roma, I felt that that was quite unfair. Jose Mourinho has uh, been the manager that among the top guys, and I don't think Pep Guardiola has done this, I don't think he'll be doing this in his career, I'm sorry we have to compare him to that, but uh, I don't think Pep Guardiola would take up a job at Tottenham, I don't think he would take up a job at Roma as they were and all of those kinds of things. And we're going to be looking at the Roma he took over and what he did before I get into what I think this means for Chelsea. Um, uh, right now. Let's get into a comment coming in from Fabio Capello, at least one that has been attributed to him. Vince shared a tweet on that. Um, uh, as far as Mourinho is concerned, it seems to me that these American owners have a way of managing situations without respect for those who work with them. Let's remember how Maldini was sent away by Milan, now Mourinho. I didn't expect it. Above all, I didn't expect it in this way. It was clear that there were difficulties. He asked for things and received no answers. Mourinho was treated in the least respectful way possible. It's a way of doing things that doesn't convince me and uh, that I don't expect, uh, you know, um, uh, respect in there. Now, we have to remember that there were interviews uh, earlier on where Jose Mourinho, of course, did mention a thing or two about investment in the club. Um, uh, and I think those are some of the biggest challenges that he has had. Ch uh, Mourinho too at Chelsea and I think this is the season where we went down. He wasn't happy that he did as well as he did when he returned and then we didn't invest at the level he expected us to get to invest in the next season and the club was going down and of course he um, uh, left. Uh, the same thing with Manchester United, an investment issue was there but also there were institutional challenges with Manchester United which he also clearly highlighted in there. But but you will see that again in all of these clubs he's gone and given them successes that they hadn't gotten to. Um, Turnham sucked him a little too early I guess uh, but he had dropped them the wrong way with demanding for the investments that they did that he did invest um, you know demand for and uh, he was sucked before a cup final and he, he has already shown that uh, that's one of the most disrespectful things he has gone into face. I don't know if at all this situation at Roma will get to overtake that right there. So um, uh, and there will be people who will say why does he need investment? investment 
business man is he a good manager anyways look at any of the good managers that have done what they have done how much have they spent look at uh, Jurgen Klopp he's talked about oh I, give, I, I work at a club that cannot spend 50 million pounds on a player and uh, hardly a year later he's spending exactly that on uh, Naby Keita in as much as he has not gone into workout he has Darwin Nunes and all of these players that have, they have paid crazy money for they almost paid 115 million for Caicedo where Caicedo just chose Chelsea and all of that and Yes, the investment is necessary. We cannot talk about how much Pep Guardiola has invested in his club, you know, to get the results that he has gotten. So the investment is always going to be important. There is an account that I'm going to send my shouts out to in this uh, coverage, and that is the account that is at iconic underscore Mourinho. I think they've done uh, tremendous coverage of Mourinho. It's uh, definitely a, a Mourinho stan account. They go to point out a few things. 15 years trophyless, one European final, zero European trophies, empty half empty stadium that was what Roma were before Mourinho arrived they he arrives and yes it is three European finals in which they win one the conference cup uh, the first European title that they get to have uh, 40 consecutive sold out matches at the Olympico these are huge huge things uh, especially for a league that is struggling for money at the moment and then passion revived uh, job done he gets to say right there uh, we'll go straight into a quote before now I talk about Jose Mourinho uh, and Chelsea I will tell you something I haven't said because I didn't want to say it. I want to continue at Roma. If I was to separate from these special fans, it would never be my own choice. Never. Not even one month ago, that's when he said those things. He's been sacked. That is Jose Mourinho. And that was something that he said in December. Now, this brings me to a whole thing about should Jose Mourinho go to Chelsea right now? I am a big fan of Jose Mourinho, that I have pointed out. He has done great, tremendous things in his career, and I definitely think he can add something to Chelsea. However, I feel that with those results that Mauricio Pochettino, Mauricio Pochettino, Mourinho, <laughs> I see that. But yeah, that Mauricio Pochettino has managed to put, and, and this is as much as I am coach out. I think the timing is not right for Jose Mourinho to come into Chelsea currently. And uh, that is simply because you look at the results that have come in over the last few weeks, uh, the, the last month or so, now we have some sort of run, some of the players are starting to believe, oh, I think we are turning a corner, and all of those kinds of things. Um, uh, it's not the right time, especially with the turmoil that we've had at the club, for us to be changing a manager in this moment. And I say this also well stating that, should we not have had the results we've been having, including that Middlesbrough result. If we weren't getting a couple, if, if we were devoid of two or three wins of what he has managed to get Mauricio Pochettino, yes, this is the right time for, Mor for Mourinho to come in and just take over and all of that. I think he's the right man that this club gets to need. Jose Mourinho at a football club means um, uh, a, 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 a well-demanded squad. You know no one is going to be lapsing. You know no one is going to be messing around on the pitch without, um, uh, you know, being called out immediately in that, which is something we are lacking with uh, Mauricio Pochettino. You know that the fans will be engaged at all times. And I think Mauricio Pochettino has done tremendously poor as far as that is concerned. Uh, after the games, he's just one of those half-pitch clap around and go away. He, doesn't, he hasn't made an effort to reach out and just connect with the fans. He's made comments, Mauricio Pochettino, such as, we need to recognize what club we are and all of that. We are now not at the level we used to be, da 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 da, -da. Absolute hogwash. No one managing a club at this level should be saying that. And I don't expect Jose Mourinho to say that. Even at Roma, with everything he's doing, he has not said anything like putting a club at that particular level. Jose Mourinho is, we know who we are. And in exactly the same situation, we know who we are. You sign for this club knowing what we are all about and we shall fight for it. If you're not good enough, you see it. someone else comes into this pitch. But we are going on to those games. We're going into those games to win them today, tomorrow. We are Chelsea and that is just it. He is Mr. Chelsea. I mean, we have the success we have because Jose Mourinho kicks at it at some time. And I think that is something that could get to come in and uh, get to, you know, um, uh, give us some good, a, a, a good vibe, a good uplift and just get the season back on, on, on track. But not in this moment, not today. 
Should Mauricio Pochettino decide to get knocked out of the League Cup? I'm not so sure I can say the same thing now. Should he get to progress? Maybe. Uh, and, and, and all of those kinds of things. So it's a timing issue for me. Not that Mauricio Pochettino is the right man or anything. It brings us unnecessary pressure. It brings us a case of we are being unfair to the man. He seemed to have turned the corner. We would never have known at some point if he was the, you know, if he had going to turn that corner. Maybe he was somehow going to manage to bring his thing to the Chelsea fold. So for me, on that basis, not the right time. However, he might not be the right man for the job, Jose Mourinho, but it is great that he is available on the market. His availability on the market is good for Chelsea because I remember when I did this video about enough is enough, Pochettino needs to leave tonight. The big question I kept asking myself was who comes in now? And the options were not so many, at least those that you get to be sold. Um, uh, it's a lot more of the managers we've tried since the bully era took over in Porta and Mauricio Pochettino. It's about of oh, let's try this, let's try that. There are no, that's a good choice kind of managers. With Jose Mourinho available on the market, it gives us some sort of, you know what, get this thing right because there is someone waiting for that job. There is something that could take up that job. We don't know if Mourinho wants this job anyways, but there is someone available. It is good for us that there are options. There is an option on the market. I think Jose Mourinho could come in even on an interim basis as long as he says, I perform well, I stay here, but you give me a budget that you've been giving these people and da, da, da. you give me an opportunity to contribute to, you know, contribute to the signings. I know I'm no longer a manager, things have changed around here and all of that, but I need to be able to say this is who or what kind of player we need and I need to hear that and all of those kinds of things. So I think that it's a good thing that Jose Mourinho is available. It's a good thing that we have that option currently in a, in, as long as he doesn't have another job coming up and all of that. And it's a good timing for that to be a kind of issue because now you don't have to battle through so many things and there will be people even in the boardroom right now saying there's Jose Mourinho available what are you talking about being patient with this Never Caldwell is playing at left back James uh, Ben Chilwell is back and he's coming on as a left winger the results are not coming we are out of the Carabao Cup I'm imagining New Middlesbrough doing thing um, uh, in there the FA Cup I don't know how far we go with that the league and all of that Something around mid-feb, late-feb happens. Jose Mourinho is kicking that door open and is walking out. And for me, that's the right pressure we need on Mauricio Pochettino to get to do the right thing. It's also good that Mauricio Pochettino has afforded himself a holiday. I'm sure with that news breaking, he must be running back to Chelsea and thinking, yo, my job is not safe. I need to get to work right now and get things sorted. Could this be the, 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 the spice we needed for Jose Mourinho, I mean for Mauricio Pochettino to quit with a host left back, call Will and put the right left backs in, in place and all of those kinds of things. Whatever it is, I think it's the right pressure that Chelsea fans need to push the club forward that Jose Mourinho is available on the market. Let's look at a couple of more tweets uh, that are coming through as far as Mourinho availability and being free but these are now really more about who's managed to come through and what that means of course Paulo Dybala has been reported as the first player who got to react to Jose Mourinho's exit coming out thanks mister I hope to see you again soon and of course I'm lucky thinking oh Dybala has been linked to Chelsea by fans official whatever oh, Mourinho Dybala Chelsea it's a time when we need experience in the in the in the squad, isn't it? It's in, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So yeah, that was something good to see. Then um, uh, this one caught my eye, and for me, it reminded me of Jose Mourinho and how even when he left clubs, he never left them hating him. I don't think people at Manchester United hate him. I don't think people at Tottenham, the fans, they don't hate him. I don't. Th well. The Roma fans definitely don't hate him. I'll be showing you something. Um, uh, the Real Madrid fans, the Inter Milan fans when he was going to Real Madrid and all of those, they all do not hate him. He seems to be something. And for me, the next tweet, this one, um, uh, is something that uh, says something about the man and what we need of even this kind of crop of players that we do have. Jose Mourinho and the team had a spat with Nicolo Zaniolo. He's now at West Ham last year, which ended with Zaniolo leaving after Mourinho said this. I am focused on the group that wants to fight for this shot and Nicolo isn't in it. 
Still, Zaniolo thanked him. It's possible not to take Jose's side. And I say this because we've had managers leave Chelsea and you've struggled to see which player is wishing him good as he leaves. They just wanted him out of the door and gone. Some of them have been our favorites on the outside. I'm not so sure what it will be like for Mauricio Pochettino and all of those kinds of things when he finally gets to leave this club. So we'll see about that. Um, uh, let's talk about this final one. And for me, this is the one that speaks to our profile of players right now. When Jose Mourinho arrived at Roma, 19 year do you see that age, guys? 19-year-old Eduardo Bove had never started a game. Mourinho gave him his first ever start and fully invested in him. Now, Bove is one of Roma's best players, one of the best midfielders in Serie A, and a huge part of Italy's future, all in two years. For me, this tweet is everything I picked up to just say, guys, do not write off Jose Mourinho. The situation at Roma has forced him to deal with these kinds of players and he's shown what he can do with them. That's exactly what we need because we have these kinds of players already. It's what the strategy is and this is something that shows he can work with that too. The thing is, you've got to keep the quality coming. And if you need experience to balance with these young kids, Jose Mourinho knows what to do. When Didier Drogba came to Chelsea, do you remember how old he was? Exactly, and we see what he did with that particular asset and all of those. So yes, big, big asset available. It's the timing that is off about him walking into Chelsea right now, especially with the results that we've managed to put on in the last couple of weeks. But I'm so happy that a piece like Jose Mourinho is available on the market. What do you think? The comment section is where I want us to have that conversation. Are you happy that Jose Mourinho is available? Would you take him back at Chelsea Football Club? If not, who would you? Or do you want to stick with Pochettino till the end of the season, even when Jose Mourinho is available? That is quite something that we can get to look out for. Also, just fun fact, um, uh, Jose Mourinho got available. Manchester United sacked Louis van Gaal, who had just won them the FA Cup final, so they could bring in Jose Mourinho. It was bad timing for me then, and I stated it wasn't the right thing. I think they reacted to Manchester City getting Pep Guardiola, and they decided they would get in Mourinho. A little rivalry and all of that. I felt that uh, Louis van Gaal had actually um, uh, put his style across the Man United side, and there was a chance that he would get to do better. But then again, we shall never know. They could have kept Louis van Gaal and never gotten Mourinho. Um, uh, who's given them their best performance since Ferguson left, by the way? even when it was that poor. Ladies and gentlemen, we're, gonna, we're not going to be going any further than that. Thank you so much for being a part of uh, this particular video. Please like it. Um, uh, it helps the channel in many, many more ways that you, than you can imagine. Please subscribe to the channel. Please turn on the notification bell. And yes, let's spread the Chelsea cheer. Let's spread the desire. Derek Ford Bogomiso YouTube channel cheer by sharing it with as many people as possible. Until our next video, please keep the blue flag flying high.